Hey guys, got another Atona no Kagaku or Science for Adults. This one's volume 33 and it's a little mini Roomba, like a desktop kind of vacuum cleaner robot. So I saw this in the shop, thought it was pretty cool. Let's put it together. So I'll rip this uh, packet open and we'll see what we got inside. So we got the usual magazine going on. It's got pictures of the uh, robots and we'll find a picture of the actual thing we're making just here there we go I'm not sure how the logic works it might just be a random sort of thing but um yeah it's got a few other things other robot sort of stuff Roomba of course they're going to talk about the Roomba how the Roomba works and a heap of other different mobile sort of robots. There's some circuits here. That, this actually is a uh, another uh, Atona no Kagaku kit where you actually have little modules and each module has a like a circuit element. So you can build up circuits with a little blocks. You got like crossover blocks and resistor blocks and capacitor blocks and that sort of thing. You put all the uh, pieces in to the grid and you can yeah build up the little circuit so I didn't see that in the shop so maybe we'll grab that one and have a look at that one sometime later but for now we will build this one so I'll grab this one out And there's all our parts. So it's about, what's that, size of a CD? 120 mil or something, maybe a little bit less than 120 mil. We've got a whole stack of bits here. Looks like the fan blade, maybe. Even get some grease. Although I've got a good amount of lithium grease. Also, in a syringe, so... Maybe use one or the other. Alright, so I'll um, arrange all this stuff. Then what we'll do is we'll do the usual uh, time-lapse construction. Then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done.
So here's a close-up of the mechanism here. What I'll do is I'll turn it on and I'll show you how it works. You can see if I push the front in, this lever here comes in. What that does is that causes this uh, little worm gear to move. So if I... Uh, if So basically what happens is, when this pushes in, there's an edge on the, uh, the PC, you can kind of just see it there. That links in to this worm gear and the worm gear pulls itself along, it winds up along there. Then as it's up here, it, it catches on this gear, which then rotates around a certain amount, like one revolution, then releases and it, this flicks back. Until this hits again, then that little groove or the little ridge on there catches in the, uh, the worm gear and pulls it up and then repeats the process every time this gets hit and that way it changes the gear here onto the other side and reverses one side and that causes it to turn so I got some flour spilt some flour on the uh, table there and we'll see how well it works Kind of not really. <laughs> it's it's got a bit of flour that's picked up inside the uh, the catch chamber here, but it's not that good. <laughs> I mean, it's it's got a three volt motor through a gear train to get that fan speed up, and it's the uh, vacuum cleaner side of things isn't so effective. But hey, it's just a little educational toy, so no great loss there. Anyway. That's it for Otono no Kagaku Volume 33. Don't forget we got the Patreon, so check it out. And just keep watching the videos. We'll see you next time.